The kitchens of our grandparents were very different than the kitchens we have today. There were no buttons and digital displays back then. Their fridges couldn't talk to their phones. Stoves had things called knobs, and you actually had to light a match to fire it up. Then, in the 1970s, things changed. All of a sudden, our food we could nuke with an oven that began as a fluke. Until recently, the techiest kitchen gadget was the microwave oven the miracle meal zapper that was literally discovered by accident. It comes out of the research they were doing during World War II on radar. And one of the engineers walked by what's called a magnetron, which produces electromagnetic waves. And he noticed that the chocolate bar in his pocket melted. So he decided to investigate this. He brought some popcorn in a bag and put it near the magnetron and it popped. The engineer was Percy Spencer, who realized the potential for using tiny electromagnetic waves or microwaves to cook food. He built a prototype oven in 1946 and the first radar ranges were available the following year. So let's get cooking. The Henry Ford Museum's curator of domestic life, Jeannie Miller, showed me how microwaves have changed through the decades. If I could only have one appliance in my house, it would be a microwave. Well, that's a very good choice because the microwave proved to be the most time-saving and convenient device to enter the kitchen in the last half of the 20th century. Microwave cooking units are indeed revolutionary. Cooking without heat. Behind you, that does not look like a microwave oven. This is a very early commercial model of a microwave oven. They were big and expensive. They weren't just big, they must have been heavy. They were very heavy. First prototypes were 750 pounds, and this one from the mid 50s is 350 pounds. Break it down, I'm assuming microwaves are tiny, tiny waves, much shorter than radio waves. shorter right? than radio waves. The microwaves come, they are absorbed by about the first inch of the food, and the microwaves create friction, which then creates heat. And that heat is then conveyed further into the food. I'm looking at the three here. What is the progression? What is the progression about? The progression of microwave technology is, in the end, about making them smaller more compact, but also more powerful. Modern ones are now controlled by computer chips, so they can do more specialized kind of cooking or defrosting with the turn of a dial. What's this fish? This fish is one of the specialized pieces of cookware to cook in the microwave ovens. And can you guess what it cooks? Fish? Yeah, cool. It's kind of, it's kind Sometimes of... a hat is just a hat. Yes. The microwave changed the way you had to cook because in a microwave oven, you can't put anything in there that is metal because it can arc and spark and it could start a fire in the microwave oven. To honor Percy Spencer, the man who made microwaves macro for the entire world, Jeannie and I decided to pop some corn. Thank you, Magnetron. Mm. Couldn't live without this. I mean, oh, it's great. Literally could not live without this. 